Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we've got news on AMD's future GPUs, the RTX 2050 and USB 4. But first, check out today's sponsor, Mastrop. They're a group buy website with some amazing deals on gaming hardware. It's free to sign up and they've got new deals all the time. So check that out in the description below. So Nvidia's newest line of graphics cards based on their Turing architecture were a little underwhelming overall. While the performance increase was decent, the jump in price nearly makes it a wash, forcing Nvidia to rely on new features like ray tracing to sell their cards. Well, one of those features is called variable rate shading, and what it does is effectively provide more processing power to detailed parts of an image it's rendering and less power to the less detailed parts. Nvidia claims this actually gives the 1660 Ti 50% more performance than Wolfenstein 2 when compared to the 1060, but I believe they mean with everything as Digital Foundry found that it provided up to a 20% increase in performance depending on the scene. And this brings me to today's first story. AMD recently published a patent that shows their version of variable rate shading, meaning the company is very serious about challenging Nvidia moving forward. But what's really interesting is the time they originally filed it. 2017, which means they're likely to add it to their Navi architecture, including consoles. And that would mean we could expect most games to have it, even console ports. Now, obviously the patent is a fact, but we don't know when or if they plan to release a product that supports it. Still, it would make sense that they're working on competing technologies, and including it in their newest architecture would be the perfect time. And that's great for us, because think of how powerful an extra, say, 10% overall performance would be on top of the new architecture based on their 7 nanometer tech. Fingers crossed. Next up for today, the RTX 2050 was spotted on Dell's website. Unfortunately, I had to update this story, as while editing, I noticed Dell updated it. Originally, when you went to the G5 15 laptop under ports and slots, it stated the USB-C Thunderbolt will be on systems with RTX 2060 and up, while the USB-C DisplayPort will be on systems with RTX 2050. They've now updated it to say GTX 1660 Ti, and while that means there isn't an RTX 2050, at least according to this leak, it goes to show just how much Nvidia has changed their naming scheme before going to market. That, or maybe it wasn't a mistake. It's doubtful, but an interesting possibility nonetheless. The last story for today comes from you, the Meld Militia. And don't forget, if you have tips, leaks, or rumors, email me at tip at gamermeld.com. Now to the news. Today, Intel officially announced that they're sharing their Thunderbolt 3 technology to the USB promoter group and will allow other chip makers to implement the tech royalty free. Now, the caveat is that AMD isn't part of the USB promoter group, so AMD likely can't. But the USB group also announced USB 4, which is supposed to simplify the horrible naming scheme from 3.2. You know, the one they just announced last week? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused too. Oh well, according to Intel, it's actually based on Thunderbolt 3 and allows simultaneous data and display protocols similar to, well, Thunderbolt 3. The issue is that we don't know if it can do everything Thunderbolt 3 can. Either way, we can at least expect some seriously fast ports coming very soon. So while that does it for today, what do you think about an RTX 2050? Is it real or is there no way Nvidia would make this? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.